Hi, my name's Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com. I'm here today to show you how to make a really cute card. And the funny thing about this card is when I designed it, I actually had in mind um, clean and simple. So it's not really a clean and simple card because we've got a fair amount going on. Um, I just got a little bit carried away with glitter and sequins and rhinestones. I just really felt that this card needed quite a bit of bling. So I'm going to show you how to make this today. So the measurements for this card are all on my blog as always. It's a fairly simple card to make but I do really like the, the glitz and I think it's a good way to do clean and simple when you find clean and simple really difficult. So first of all we need a, cape, a card base that's 5 inches by 10 inches. We're just going to score this down at 5 inches so it's a nice square card. Then we're going to make a card base layer. So this is going to be four and three quarters by four and three quarters. I'm going to cut, not score, can you? So four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then we need another layer here. But this layer is going to be used doing the large, the, the stitched framelits. So these framelits just cut a nice stitching effect in them. Now I've pre-cut Whoops, a pre-cut because my big shot doesn't fit very well on camera. So that's going to be our second white layer. We also need to have this second layer here. And we're going to go back to using the colour um, orange. We've got pumpkin pie here. So this layer is going to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters. I decided that last time I did very best, I wanted to have a really nice bright again but I wanted to go with an orange because I very very rarely make orange cards it's not really a colour that I go to very often and I figured I would do something bright and summery okay so now we've got all of our bases sorted um, I'm just going to grab a bone folder and burnish this edge so our edge burnished and we're going to take our card base and stamp a sentiment alongside so I'm using the stamp set Cool Treats today, which is some is one that I kind of overlooked a little bit at the beginning. I kind of felt maybe the ice creams and that weren't really my thing. Um, oops, sorry, it's a bit louder than I thought it would be. But now I've grown to really love it and to see how quick and easy and beautiful the cards you you make can be. So I'm just going to stamp a sentiment. I'm going for a different sentiment than I did last time. So this says, I hope your birthday is sprinkled with everything great. And I'm just going to stamp this in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I also need to cut out my ice cream cone. So I went ahead and pre-did this. Like I said, the big shot just doesn't fit in the camera very well. And the interesting thing about these framelits is that they actually cut as well as emboss. So you're going to get some really nice texture within them. You get quite a lot of framelits in this pack. And I'd say... Four, four of them do the cutting and embossing, three of them do the cutting and embossing as well. So they basically cut out all of the shapes in the set, but they do add a bit of dimension as well. Just pop those back to the side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stamp our image with some swells. And because this is a photopolymer set, this means that I can hopefully line it directly over my stamp and I shouldn't need to, um, it doesn't matter that I didn't, that I cut it out first. Okay, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do here, it wasn't perfect, but it's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some fine tip glue pen and some dazzling diamonds and I'm just going to glitz up my sprinkles. So for this you're going to need a bit of scrap paper just to sit underneath. And with the fine tip glue pen, if you hold it with your forefinger and thumb, so you want your forefinger to wrap around it, your thumb is going to press and hold, and then you should be able to twist the lid open just at the top and pull out the needle that goes inside. So all we're going to do is we're going to go over just at the top. So we're not putting sprinkles on everywhere, just along the top of the stamped image and then to put this back in hold your finger along the nib and just poke it use your finger as a guide 
and just go all the way in. So the Dazzling Diamonds is a really fine glitter powder and it is so sparkly and it's a little bit iridescent so it's not just one <laughs> to apologise, the postman's just been and my dog just lets, likes to let me know. That's Lexi Lou. So I'm just going to flick off the excess glitter and then all we do is curl a piece of cardstock over and pour away the excess. So you want to keep that. So this glitter has different colours in it so when you catch it in the light it's got an iridescent sparkle and that's because it's all the different colours of the rainbow just glitzing away. Okay so it's now time to start putting our piece of our card together. We're just going to get some oops, sorry, Tombow wet glue and apply this to the card base. Now just make sure your card is open the right way and stick down. Okay so I've just noticed a tiny little bit of fluff here on my cardstock. All you need to do to get rid of this is just run your scissors along the edge and that disappears. And let's stick this one down. You can see this card comes together really really quickly but I do think it's beautiful. So and just stick that down and you kind of want it to be quite central. I'm just going to apply a little bit more glue. I think I bent that a little bit too much when I was holding it up. So I'm going to stick the ice cream cone directly to the bottom. Directly to the card with Tombow glue. But then I'm going to grab some dimensionals for... Ooh, I moved that and knocked that too much. I'm going to grab some dimensionals for the ice cream bit itself. Just grab my small ones, but they will do. So I'm going to have three of the mini dimensionals on the back of here. Yep. And I'm just going to stick this down. And now to finish this card off, I am going to go rhinestone and um, sequin mad again. So I'm just going to start with the sequins and I want them to just go all the way along the side of the card. I think they just look really fun. And because they already have adhesive on them, they're so easy to use. I don't want this one to go. I think I'm just going to have it just right there. And I actually think I'm going to go for pals this time rather than adhesive. Uh, sorry, rather than rhinestones, just to be a little bit different, see what it looks like. Not going to be quite as sparkly, but still, it's going to be a little bit more subtle, just to offset that really bright orange. So with this, you kind of just keep on adding until you feel you've got enough. It's a great way to use up some of your excess rhinestones if you maybe have got a lot you haven't used in a while. And it's quite nice just to be have a really nice glitzy card. Okay, so that is our card done. We've got it in pumpkin pie and berry burst. I think both look really bright, fresh and full of summer. And hopefully we're going to get some sunshine soon in the UK. So let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the rhinestones and do you prefer the see, um, uh, pearls? Do you prefer the berry burst or the pumpkin pie? So thanks for so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this not quite clean and simple card tutorial today. And if you want, if you live in the UK and you want to purchase any supplies, please do get in touch. Please hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and let me know if you've got any requests. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting.